plasmolysis. When a solute is added to the solvent, it dissolves in the solvent to form a solution. Consider a living cell having less water molecules inside the cell sap, that is, hypertonic solution, and more water molecules, that is, less concentrated hypotonic solution, outside the cell sap, on the other side of the cell membrane. By osmosis phenomenon, water molecules tend to flow from outside to inside the cell through pores known as aquaporin across the cell membrane. This process continues till solutions at both sides of cell membrane have the same osmotic pressure and at this stage there is no further osmosis. Such solutions having the same osmotic pressure at same temperature are called isotonic or isomotic solutions. When red blood cells are placed in hypertonic solutions, that is, solution of higher concentration, then water flows out of the cells and they shrink or collapse due to water loss by osmosis. This shrinkage of cells is called plasmolysis. On the other hand, if red blood cells are in hypotonic solutions, that is, solution of low concentration, then water flows into the cells and they swell up and burst due to water inflow by osmosis. This swelling or rupture of cells is called hemolysis. Hemolysis can also occur if plant cells or animal cells are kept in water for a long time and they swell up due to excess inflow of water inside the cell by cell membrane.